A local woman is pushing to secure rights for every caregiver to see their loved one pandemic or not. Mary Daniel taking her fight to the Florida legislature. The session runs until the second week of March. At the same time, Daniel is also fighting for change on the federal level. Mary and Steve Daniel have an incredible love story, partly because of the tragedy. Steve was diagnosed with Alzheimer's at just 59 years old. Now 68, he's in a long-term care facility that shut out Mary and others when the pandemic crashed down on the world in 2020. And I would go visit him every evening and get him ready for bed, um, and he would go to sleep, and it would be a great way for us to both end our day. And we did that on March 11th, and on March 12th, they told us that I can't come back. That's what launched a memorable fight by Mary Daniel. She got a job as a dishwasher at the facility so she could see her husband, then got the governor's attention, and then kept charging for change. In Florida's House and Senate, essential caregiver bills are moving, led on the House side by Jacksonville's Clay Yarborough. Daniel's campaign includes a book for every lawmaker. Um, and part of that is telling our story, wanting to um, tell people what this journey has looked like and what it's felt like for so many people who not only were separated and finally got back in, but for so many people who lost someone and had to literally watch them die through a window. Daniel calls that complicated grief and produced books that offer the real life or real death stories of people in long-term care during the pandemic. And we call it saving them to death because we certainly understand why um, the lockdowns were done with the best of intentions. Um, we understand that COVID kills, but we also understand that isolation kills too. And so we were trying to save them and many of them ended up dying from loneliness. Mary Daniel and others gave a book to every lawmaker in Tallahassee last week, 160 of them. Daniel tells me that the federal legislation, it's farther along, but it will only affect facilities covered by Medicare and Medicaid. So the state bills, those would affect private facilities like her husband's.